Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are going to be doing players who are too good for their teams. We've got a player from a top half team and a player from a bottom half team. And we'll maybe talk about potential moves from in January or sometime in the future. So, let's get into it. Who wants to go on, Cal? Who have you got for the top team? Uh, I've got Aston Villa. I've got Ollie Watkins. Okay. Oh. I think this season, and especially back in the last season, he was just bagging. He yeah. was bagging goals for fun. And I think him getting in the England squad now, I think has elevated him in terms of yeah. he's, he's catching the eyes of top teams. Like, yeah. Mm. I think he, he could one team I think he could do well for would be Arsenal yeah if they don't yeah, go and yeah, get yeah, Ivan yeah. Tony I see that I could see that but I mean cause we, we have all said that Jesus is not the man no so he's not no, he's not I feel like they need a serial goal scorer and mm -hmm. already in however many games he's played in the Prem he's got four goals four assists that's, yeah. Yeah. And that's just in the Prem League against yeah. Brighton as well wasn't it yeah I think I saw him against England I know against Australia and it was quite a dull game but mm -hmm. he, oh. he still ran the show yeah, yeah. he still looked good he, he still ran the show so who would Arsenal sell in that case would it be Nketiah or would it be Jesus or Nketiah yeah I know Nketiah I don't know that man in the England squad but, uh, I went May United oh okay it's, he's not one of the best players there but he could do a lot better Mm. I've gone with Garnacho. Really? Yeah. What? That's yeah. a rogue one. No, nah, I went Garnacho because I, I feel really like he's that. really, really good when he comes off the bench. Yeah, he's a good super uh, No, but he's 19 and he's just going to be living Mar Marcus Rashford's shadow for... He's basically... It's he's about career. 25, 26, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like when he comes off the bench, he makes a big impact. Look, like when he comes off against Arsenal, I know it was a disallowed goal, but he gets them big goals, late late he, winners he all the time. Electric. Yeah, and he gets he gets the goals, basically. Um, with him being 19 as well, he's going to spend key years, like maybe the next five seasons, behind Rashford. And mm. Rashford, as we know, Rashford can only play on the left. We've, they've tried him for years at striker, can't do it. On the right, he's obviously he's not that guy who's a winger who crosses it in. He's going to be on the left for his career. And so running, you yeah. could say Garnacho can play on the right as well. Yeah, yeah, but it's, he's not been proven there. So if he's if, he they, if, they, chance, yeah, if they're going to chuck him out there, then they've got to pray that he's going to be good. Otherwise, he's going to be he's going to turn into I don't know someone mm. who's a James Sancho. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm, so probably just, not to the same level, but I get what you mean. Where would you put him? Uh, I could see him uh, back at Atletico under Diego Simeone. Uh, he's playing. He plays. He does look like a Simeone player. Right yeah, now. yeah. He like he's like he's, he's up for it. Obviously, they're both Argentinian as well. But at the moment, they've been playing sort of a. Uh, a free four three system uh, with Atletico. Mm. So they have a guy called Samuel Lino at the moment at Atletico. He's getting good numbers at left mid, um, and I feel like he could just take over there at Atletico and be the man. Or I could see him maybe replace Kylian Mbappe when he leaves PSG, going on the left. They, they are, yeah, I'm, they not are, it's, I'm not saying it's like for no, life. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think PSG is more realistic one. Yeah, as it sounds, because they are trying to recruit younger players. Yeah, yeah, but, exactly. Like, they're going smart with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously yeah. on the left they got Mbappe, but I think like Kangin Lee and stuff. Like, they're not great players at left wing. But they're, so maybe, they're ones that can develop. Yeah, yeah. So mm. him maybe Goncalo Ramos up front as well. Like that would be class. Oh, wow. So mm. I could see Garnacho. I think he's a better player than what he, sh he can be at United I think it's yeah. a rogue one but go on. yeah. that's fair enough he's made, yeah, he's he's made, made a good point case. Yeah. Um, my my top half team technically yeah. we are a top half team is yeah. my club West Ham yeah yeah and I've gone Lucas Paqueta yeah of course yeah Obviously, he was a subject of an 80 million bid from Man City. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah but allegations <laughs> stopped the move, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, but um, yeah, he was marketed as this like creative uh, string puller in midfield. And I was looking, and he's got 25 tackles. That's the most in the West Ham team. Okay. Yeah. And you know how they go, oh, Casemiro is this midfield destroyer? Mm. He's got four less. Man, and Lucas Paquette yeah. who's meant to be this creative yeah. he just does everything yeah. he just does everything yeah. he's just yeah. that the full package role. sort of thing yeah. yeah I can't lie I was bracing for him to go, go to City when the bid came in I was like it will definitely go yeah. but then I couldn't see both your key players leaving no that, I, I sort that. of ha held that up mm. but I do think if he doesn't move in January he'll definitely move next summer and the yeah. thing is I've got three teams who I think he'd be good at so yeah. I think just because of the old Leon link, Newcastle, link up back with uh, Bruno. Yeah, yeah. And again, their see, midfield's quite they strong. Play, they, they play a role that he fits yeah. in, if that makes sense. I know no, it's, no, a, it's it. an upgrade, but it's not a big, big upgrade for Paquetta. I'll literally only put, I mean? only put Newcastle. Well, still because, league, yeah, 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 yeah. No matter what, they're like, going to get Champions League. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just put Newcastle because of the, the Bruno partnership at Leon. Yep. Um, I'll put Liverpool. You know, they're trying to reinvent their midfield. I think he'd do the job that Klopp wants Endo to do. 
Is it not what Slobber's Slide does? That's what I'm thinking. Nah, Slobber's Slide, slide does is more, and more, more advanced midfielder. But then he also drops back. Oh, so you want Paquetta to be like a ball in the midfielder? Like he box. is with us. A box of box. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, like he is okay. with us. I think yeah, that's what. It. Especially Klopp in want, tackling numbers. That's yeah. what Klopp wants Endo to do, and I don't think he's that sort of midfielder. I think it's just. I don't really watch a lot think, of Endo. Think, no, me neither, but Endo <laughs> was that player that was just sort of uh, a short term replacement. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Like he's, he's, I think he's like 30, 31. He's 30, he's 30, yeah. 30. So he's got good experience. I think that's why mm. they brought him in. But I could, if you're changing his role to like a ball winning midfielder, he's got more tackles than Casemiro. And yeah, yeah, fair enough. I remember him against Chelsea where he just. He, he had them on lock base, he had them on strings, and mm. I think that was just after where the fell, move fell through with City mm. and they played Chelsea and he was just running the show. Yeah, the game his life. Yeah, he, 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 he saw the, the big come in, he's like, I want this move, I'm playing yeah, out his yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he had, took a while to adapt because you know, I don't know if you remember me moaning about him. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, it's going to be another big money flop. Yeah. And towards the end of the season and more in the conference league, I noticed that he just. Yeah. I mean, he got the assist for, for the bone goal yeah, exactly. yeah. and that was he's, a great pass so now he's adapted to Premier League football Yeah, I'll just see a move for him in in, in the future yeah, yeah. See, also with the Paquetto one as well with, obviously he gets picked with Brazil a lot yeah. this mm. will just cement it even more because I know yeah. say if the manager does go or whatever because I know Carlo's been linked with it for quite a few years now He's gonna maybe I don't know might be a reshuffle and if he's a mm. good better team than West Ham then Carlo knows okay I'm yeah he's, yeah. He's I'm just, I'm just, he goes into Brazil he's gonna yeah. pick players from the bigger team exactly yeah. yeah he might do like, I'm not, he might not but I'm just saying he might do so, I did see reports that apparently Ancelotti is going to be Brazil manager yeah Brazil. exactly so yeah. him at a better club would be better for him do you know yeah. what I mean gets more cement in that team Piquetta for Piquetta for West, West Ham, Ham yeah. yeah cool yeah. on to our lower half teams so I'll start off and I've got Everton my lower half team and my player Jordan Pickford yeah. I think the easiest choice for Brilliant. Everton really yeah. yeah so at the moment he's got 19 saves so far this season mm-hmm. and I think possibly the save of the season against Sheffield yeah, you see I that? That. yeah. Brilliant. it was outrageous but it's, I know it was Ollie McBurney but Ollie McBurney was thought he was in he was celebrating I mean it's a shot's a shot doesn't it where it's wrong you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's a good save yeah. but it, it, it's Pickford's been doing this for years for Everton I mean last yeah. season him and him just he just kept him up yeah. like him and Decore yeah. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. close to picking Decore yeah but um, and Anana, or Anana yeah, yeah. but the oh, yeah. way Pickford is with Everton he, he has to do it a lot bless him the way he just shouts his defence when yeah. he's up <laughs> when you're like, Mason Olgate in front of you do you know yeah, what I mean? and Ben Godfrey and yeah. Michael it's oh, a long God. day but yeah, like he's he's a leader. He's a per, he's full of personality. Yeah, you know, and there's no doubt of him being displaced as Everton's number one. And you could argue you're not displacing Pickford from the England team. Yeah, I mean, again, if a new manager, you never know that could happen. They could yeah, choose true. someone else. But yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think potential transfers from as well. Yep. I know they've got a goalkeeper, and he's mm-hmm. um, you know accustomed to the Prem now. But I do think he'd be a good fit at Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's got personality. A lot of this. Tottenham team has personality now. You know, you've got Madison, you've got Son. Yeah. Obviously, Ange is a big personality man, yeah, yeah, and I think him and Pickford would be a good, good manager and goalkeeper. Um, I've got Man United as potential. Yeah. Transfer, especially with Anana. Yeah. All yeah. I see is him making errors. I know he, Pickford. He just not, jumps backwards. Yeah. We, we, I know yeah, Pickford's yeah, not the best, mm-hmm. but he don't have as many mistakes in him as yeah. Anana. And his does. distributions, I think, is much better. Yeah, definitely. And the last team I have for him is Chelsea. I know they're linked to everyone, but. Sanchez just don't convince me. He's me not a number one goalkeeper. Yeah. He's too flappy. At least Pickford, like if he's coming out for the ball, he's getting that ball. Yeah, yeah. With Sanchez, you don't know if he's getting the ball. Yeah. Pickford ain't ain't afraid to challenge in the air. I think I could see him more at Chelsea. Yeah. Um, yeah. Than the others, but I think that, that Tottenham one would have been great last year. I think you before they got Bakayoko. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah, if you would have if would have gone last year, it would have been great. Shouldn't have signed mm. the, yeah, the extension. No, right. definitely not. Yeah, so you've got, come on. yeah. So my one went with Bournemouth. Uh, okay. and I got Philip Billing. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, I think there was obvious choice, but maybe yeah. one or two in Bournemouth side if that that are probably there, too there, good. There is, there is a like one or yeah, like yeah. one or two, but yeah. I think Billings the one that stands out. Yeah. Mm. So he's been Bournemouth's best player for the past two, three seasons. I'd say, I'd say even more than that. Yeah. Honestly, I'd say more than that. When he's been living in the Championship and Premier League, mm. um, it was one of the main reasons they started up with uh, Gary O'Neill. Um, both of them, I think, helped him out massively. Uh, he started 34 out of 36 games last year scored 7 goals and 1 assist from centre mid which is quality which especially means, in a Bournemouth team yeah it shows he's box to box and all that he gets up and down all the time mm. um, and he's just started breaking into the Danish national team as well oh. um, yeah he come on to us recently against Kazakhstan and Finland okay. um, so if he wants to keep that sort of nailed on Bournemouth's not the team really to, that's to a be lot at. Of, that's what we said about a few of these players yeah, yeah, got yeah. A, and potential Clubs, I could see him at, at Fulham. 
Yeah. Uh, alongside Paulinho. If Paul- if Paulinho don't go to Bayern. Yeah, yeah. Or he, he could replace. I don't know if he's like, I think he'd be the replacement. For yeah, him. he'd be a good replacement. Because obviously yeah. next to him you have Harrison Reed and maybe Kenny, and I think he's a lot better I think than Kenny's both of them. Kenny's been pushed out the side. Now. Yeah, I think he's better than both of them in that box of box role, which is what Harrison Reed and Kenny do. Mm. It costs between I'd say twenty five to thirty million for a club. Twenty seven years of age. I don't think that's a big gamble. Um, no, he's got Premier experience. Yeah, well. yeah, exactly. So he's a proven player. So yeah, Philip Billin. Yeah, Callum, who have you got to finish us off? I've gone for Wolves, I've gone for Pedro Neto, which is probably the obvious one. Yeah, it's most obvious one, isn't it? Um, this season alone, he's got one goal, five assists in a Wolves side, which yeah. is poor. And you think five assists, I think that puts him top of yeah. his charts. Do you want with Madison, I think, and someone else? That is ridiculous. Yeah. For what for the team he's got around him as well, which isn't the best. Yeah, it, that's it, unreal. It is yeah. unreal. I think 18 successful dribbles as well. Yeah. For yeah. how many yeah. games as well. Yeah, yeah. He's, well, he's, he's, he's had left backs up a lot this year. Yeah. No matter who yeah. He when I was watching um, Wolves against Liverpool, Joe Gomez was just in no man's <laughs> yeah, He had no clue. Yeah. And, when, and when you look at Wolves in the past few seasons they've struggled for goals for years and if he's creating the goals he's probably the reason why they're doing so well this year of course but yeah and I think the last two seasons I think he has been hindered by injuries yeah definitely yeah, played, yeah, played yeah. only eight, 18 games last year didn't mm-hmm. score a goal or get an assist yeah, season exactly. 4 that 13 one goal one assist no, yeah, yeah. his yeah. last good season was 2021 yeah. that was 5 goals 6 assists and if he if he's got five assists and how many games from yeah 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 there. maybe you want to hit 35 40 games a season but if he's only getting 18 he's got yeah, no, no, no chance really is. and I think easily he's worth you would say 50 million yeah, yeah. So yeah. where the market is where, where should I say yeah where, I, where could you see him United yeah maybe mm, yeah, yeah. Rashford, really right 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 Rashford. and then he's but then Pe- he's no, he's, he's, but the thing is Pedro Neto's left footed so he can if he does play right and cut in I'd say he'd be a Son's getting on a tiny bit. So but if they want to push him up top and get rid of Richarlison, they put him at Tottenham. Yeah, I think he might. I think it'd be a lot of money though. I think maybe it's just a bit too much for Tottenham personally. But maybe. Yeah. yeah. You just don't know. You don't know how much a team's willing to spend yeah. for a guy like now. I could probably see him at like a La Liga side. Obviously, he's Portuguese and that. Maybe I don't know. A Barca. Yeah. Or something. Like obviously, they've got Felix on loan at the moment. Um, Mm. They've got a few others that are not really Lewandowski getting on. You know, Ansu Fati's just gone Brighton. Or even like in a previous one, PSG. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, they need a left-sided player once Mbappe leaves. Yeah, for Madrid, so he's very direct as well. So exactly, he'd yeah. be, be great for. But uh, who do you think's made the best point for the top half team and the lower half team? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you next one.